Hello friends, welcome back to Indian English Mom. Today I am going to talk about minimalism and money. This is one of the most requested video in this channel. Many of you guys ask me about how much money I save after becoming a minimalist. So I thought, okay, let me share this with you guys. So today I am going to share everything in detail, how I spend, how I save more and more money, how minimalism helped me in doing all these things. So let us start. The first thing is, Minimalism intention is not to save money, but it is one of the benefits of minimalism. If you want to know more benefits, please click the link above later. I will link it down in the description box as well. There are many more benefits than saving money. I have done a separate video on that. So now I am not going to tell all those things in detail. I will just focus on the benefits which we are having is money. As we are spending less, without our notice only, we will start saving more. As you are a minimalist, your needs will be very very less compared to the previous years. You guys can compare that as well. See, when you are used to spend more and more money on clothing, that time obviously you will spend more also. Now your all needs and your requirements are very very less and you will spend very few money on that. This year, no last year hardly I have spent 10,000 rupees for my clothing and even the same amount for kids clothing as well. So that is it, the expenses came down so drastically. Now it is very very minimal requirements. Based on that, we will spend very very less money on that. We are not intended to spend less but indirectly we are spending less because of less requirements. So here we are also, we are not thinking about or being stingy. We are ready to spend on what we really need. But our needs is also has come down. Obviously the expenses will also come down. And other than that there are many categories where we are saving money. And one more thing I want to add is rent. You guys know that we moved from 2 BHK house to 1 BHK house. And you, I am not going to disclose the exact amount of rent but I can say you guys like we are saving 5000 rupees every month just in a rent and you guys can imagine for one complete year it will be 60,000 rupees we are saving in a rent and definitely if we wish we can go for all India trip that is how much huge amount we are saving just by living in a small space so there are many other things like this and these are small small example the money we are spending on clothing, the money we are spend, saving in rent, all these things are not intention to save money but definitely it is saving so much money. And just for living in a small house we can save 5000 rupees per month, you just imagine. And that money we are saving just by living in a small space. We are not doing any work also for that. Like that there are many other options to save money if you are a minimalist. And one more example when it comes to kids I can add like initially I used to buy all the books whatever the books my kids wants to read all books I used to buy and you guys have seen that my books collection video if you haven't seen that i'll link it down somewhere and nowadays i'm not buying books instead of that i took the membership of library and i have paid thousand rupees for next six months and for the next entire six months ravish can go and read whatever the books he wants for my kids also they will spend time in library they can bring books to home as well and after reading they can return it is started only because of minimizing the books collection. When I thought about minimizing the books collection, I thought about like, okay, let me take the membership of library. And actually that was the best gift which I have given to my child. And now they are enjoying reading and every day they are completing one book. That means if I want to buy, you guys can just imagine how much huge amount I used to spend on that. Instead of that, that one amount which I spent on library saved so much amount in buying more and more books. Here I am not saying the money spending on books is waste, no. Money spending on books is really worth but instead of that getting the membership from the library saves so much amount in, uh, in spending for books. And the same amount you can spend for kids education as well and you guys can give, me, give them some other coachings as well in the same amount. This is how minimalists spend. Actually, we spend on 
something which is really important or the wise selection you guys can say like that and that saves more and more money without our knowledge our intention will not be to save more money but definitely we save more money and like that there are many other options and on each and every particular things we are saving more and more money just like either it may be spending on some luxurious items and whenever we really require definitely we will spend money on some quality products which is durable for longer years and so that we need not buy it again and again and one more thing if i want to add that would be like now everything in my house is clearly visible and i never forget about the things which i already have in my home so no need to repeat the things or unnecessary i don't buy any duplicate products and before buying something i will think like whether i will be able to use the existing product for that purpose and if i could recycle something definitely i will do that instead of buying new one so there also we are saving money we are not buying any duplicate items or we don't forget the things which we are having in our home now everything is visible and everything is in its place so it is really easy to choose the things or it is really easy while buying also to make the decisions as we are getting more and more clarity in what we really need so this is the huge effect of minimalism and there are many more benefits as well with the minimalism and money saving is just a part of minimalism and so enjoy all other benefits as well don't focus only on saving money but definitely you can enjoy saving money also being a minimalist so it is the huge amount you are saving unknowingly by minimizing your requirements or minimizing the stuff you are having like this only your desires will definitely come down once you become a minimalist and the desires will be like it will shift from materialistic things to some moral desires or i can say like some long term desires you will start desiring more in growing your knowledge in having more experience instead of having more and more materialistic stuff so that desires will definitely reduce you are lots of expenses and even though if you expend some on some things not on some experiences definitely it is worthful and that is not a waste of money and i can trust me i can assure you guys the money you spend on experience is really worth and it helps to grow your knowledge more and more so these are all the benefits of minimalism and mainly today i focused on saving money Yes, definitely minimalists save more and more money. And if you guys want to save money, also you guys can join our minimalism community. So that's all about my today's video. Thanks for watching. See you all guys again in my next video. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you guys are new, you are consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you again in my next video. Till then, bye bye.